let's talk about supplements. <clears throat> supplements can be a little overthought in some in some cases, but they're pretty straightforward. They're they're just meant to, to um, they're just meant to enhance your training or your health. Um, specifically for training, there's there's proven supplements that work for almost everyone. Everyone responds differently to these supplements, but it's up to each person to figure out what works best for them. And I think in general, some of the biggest like supplements would probably be a good pre-workout. The pre-workout, um, depending on if you get it with stem or non-stem, um, it will provide you with extra energy. But if you go for the non-stem, um, at the very least, you'll get the, the pump benefits that come with the pre-workout, which is huge, especially when you're when you're trying to put on size. <laughs> you need a pump basically to a pump is important whenever you're training because it just it helps you contract better, it helps you contract your muscles better, it just feels better feel better it's just overall better blood flow <clears throat> next up creatine and I want to highlight specifically creatine monohydrate it's the most it's the most scientifically researched supplement arguably and it's it's arguably the most the cheapest supplement you can get <clears throat> pretty much what it does is it helps you retain water and it helps you um, increase your ATP which pretty much when you're training it helps you get that extra performance boost so it might it, it might help you get those extra few reps especially when you're going to failure this is very important. <clears throat> Another supplement would probably be a basic protein powder. The protein powder is not, you don't have to, uh, there's not a good or bad protein powder. It's just, it's just protein powder. Obviously there's going to be better tasting ones than other ones, but the important thing is that it's just a source of protein, a, a quick protein. And it's it's fast. It's easily digestible, fast, and easy. And there's different types of protein. Specifically, I want to highlight whey protein because it digests quickly, and that will that's that's important, especially after you're done working out and you don't have a meal laying around. You can just chug down the shake, and you're good to go. But there's also um, isolate, which pretty much is a slow digesting protein. And that would probably be more suitable in the morning or maybe at night before bed. That way you have protein nutrients in your system while you're sleeping. Protein powder can also be like a gap filler. Sometimes it can be difficult to get in a bunch of a bunch of protein sources from from meat, um, especially once you're like once you're heading towards like the high numbers in terms of weight, um, and you're eating. A gram of protein per pound of body weight it can get difficult especially with with a busy schedule and stuff like that so I think having some whey protein laying around it could be important it could be like a nice gap filler help you reach your protein intake and overall just hit your goals
Thank you.